Well, hello folks. Um, so the 65 Martin triple O 18 here. Uh, so this is a little backward, I guess. I've glued about four of these braces now. And uh, what's, uh, what's happening here is I'm just kind of starting from the outside. Um, you can see, well, you can see them both together. I have the uh, little twisty clamp in there. And, uh, and I have a clamp on the outside. So I kind of get my glue under the brace. I'm using high glue in this case. And uh, actually, it looks like that back brace right there is the one, but the last one I glued was actually the upper brace. And uh, so you can't really see that unless I stick a mirror in the hole, which I could do. But yeah, you know, I start putting a little, let me get the light back in there. Start putting a little bit of pressure on the screw there and, and pushing the brace up and then put a little pressure, you know, put the outside clamp on so that I don't push the guitar apart with the clamp inside. So kind of counteracting that. I don't have a lot of force on this outside clamp. Neither of these have a lot of force because these braces don't take a lot. But uh, so I'm going to attempt to, let's see if I can do it without the other light. Uh, put the mirror in the hole here. And let's see. There you are right there. So that's the brace that I clamped last night. And you can see there's lots of extra glue floating around. Oh, you can hear my glue pot in the background beeping. Uh, I just stuck the glue in the pot. And so um, I actually that was the one I did. I actually glued the top one up, which is what you're seeing in the mirror there. If you can see that mirror, it's kind of, yeah. So. And then if I move the mirror, you can see the opposite one there that I glued the night before. Um, and that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm pretty much just prepping and gluing one, one loose brace at a time. Uh, and that's just strictly because uh, I'm lazy. Um, now I got, you know, I've kind of, because I'm using the outside clamp kind of feature, then I could probably do them without that. I just, it's just kind of a safeguard. But I can't, once I glue one, I can't exactly glue another one because i got to flip the guitar around to get the glue behind the brace and all that stuff. And uh, if I start flipping this guitar around with this brace on it, this clamp on it, it's going to, you know, it's not going to work. I'm going to fling the brace off. Things are going to get messed up. So I've just been taking my time. Just uh, gluing one every night, and uh, like I said, I'm about four four in. So yeah, I just that one, that one. Did I do this one over here yet? I don't know. I did one over here. I did one right here. On, yeah, I need the light again. I did one on that brace right there in the middle on that other end on this way and in, in the hole, and then I did one back that way in the hole, and I've got. I got this one right here to do. Boy, I'm really being crappy about this camera thing. I got this one right here to do. And then after the fact, after all the all the braces are glued, um, I'm gonna just, you know, get the hot water from the pot and go back in with a rag and clean these things. Be, being high glue, I can go back in there and re re uh, wet that and with the heat and wipe up the excess. Make it look not quite so uh, uh, messy. Anyway, so that's where we're at, and uh, that's what I've been doing on this thing. Hey guys, I've got uh, another brace glued. I actually spent some time with a hot, wet rag cleaning up some of the other uh, brace glue-ups, and then I glued up this uh, the, this uh, base side, I guess it would help if you could see it, the base side top corner uh, of the X-brace um, coming through here. Anyway, so got that glued up. I'm, I'm going to glue one of the side cracks, which is also on the base top bout. Um, where are we? 
Okay, let's move this thing out. You can see that there's these cracks are fairly wide now, uh, right here. I put a prop inside to spread that a little bit. It's it's not spreading it a lot, but enough that I can be able to get plenty of glue squished in there. Um, I mentioned the last time that when I have a, X, a brace clamp inside and this little screw clamp that I made, um, I like to put a um, clamp on the outside. Well, it's kind of why I'm doing these together because uh, this this one uh, uh, X brace wasn't was doesn't need it so much tension on it that I was worried about pushing the guitar apart, uh, gluing it back together, and then so that's going to allow me to get that one glued and then also do this one crack. And so the plan, the plan is uh, to uh, just smear some uh, some glue in that crack, uh, high glue, and then knock the prop out, which will allow it to come back together. And then I'll add the addition of an exterior uh, clamp there, uh, and that will just uh, just not not super heavy pressure. It doesn't it pulls pulls together with amp pressure very easily, so it's not under a bunch of tension. And so I'll get that crack glued up, clamp it. And then uh, you know, take a wet rag to it and wipe up the excess on the uh, outside. Uh, these these cracks, being that they're uh, so long, uh, will definitely be getting uh, cleats. Uh, I haven't made the cleats yet, but I'm going to glue all the cracks up first, and then I'm going to make, excuse me, I'm going to make a series of cleats and glue them in. Uh, I'm going to glue them, then I'm going to go back in and set the cleats with uh, with magnets. So it's uh, it's going to be easy enough to do it. Uh, due to the fact that I've only got uh, two sets of magnets, I'm going to be able to do a couple at a time. I do want to point out that the one I'm going to be working on is a longer one that goes from here, I'll hold my finger here, from here to here. Okay, and it aligns really well. Now, if uh, if I had others that aligned well, um, I do have one right here, but I'd like to get that gap open a little wider. So I'm going to do that after this one's glued. But this one underneath, this one right here, this one started here, there's one under here. But this this doesn't align perfectly. So what I'm going to do is that once that's glued and dried, then I'll be able to um, open this up a little bit, get some glue in it, and then I'll align it. And I may have to put a set of magnets on it as I'm gluing it in order to keep it lined up. So uh, I'll, I'll try that as it, I can. Actually, I can push this in right now and line those two up, but I don't want to attempt to line this one under clamp pressure and this one all at the same time. Uh, small bites. Okay, got you zoomed in here somewhat, I believe. Um, yeah, so here we go. If I get you out of the camera, I'm sorry, but I'm not looking at the camera now. I'm looking at me. And I don't think I have enough time for suction cups before this thing dries out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to get it forced in there with my finger. Okay. Pop this stick out. thing is lined up really great. So I'm just going to put a squeezy clamp on it and you see where I'm at. There we go. Squeezy clamp. Okay. Looks great. I'm going to go get a hot rag and wipe off the excess. I didn't want to unglue my unplug. Unglue. Unplug my glue pot, so I um, just left it where it was. I brought the jar over here. Okay. And I did have some squeeze out bubbling out of that crack uh, when I squeezed it together, so I'm pretty confident that it got 
got through, I'll, I'll know once I can look inside. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm holding pressure still. I'm going to move this clamp down a little bit. I happen to have another clamp right here, and I'm going to going to put it on as well. So, not tons of pressure. Not buckling the sides or anything. I can see, you know, a little uh, gap. I'm not seeing a gap in the wood. I'm just seeing finish that's chipped out. And so once this is all said and done and dry, what I have done in the past with good success is uh, actually take some some hide cement, uh, hot high glue, and just pretty much just smear it in the crack and uh, wipe off the excess, and it, it kind of fills those little um, shallow finish finish uh, divots. So um, there we go. Well, I, I do indeed see a good amount of squeeze out inside that crack there. It's hard to get the angle on the light and the uh, dealio all together there. Um, I'm going to put another. Uh, I'm going to drop the camera down in there, the little guy that I'm taking pictures of. Uh, I'm taking some pictures for the owner and see if I can actually capture it that way. Um, but um, I'm going to take this same wet rag and I'm going to get some more water on it, stick it in there and wipe off that excess that's in there. So it doesn't get in the way of my uh, my cleats when I'm ready to do that. I don't want anything hanging out in there. And it's a lot easier to get it out of there now while it's still soft than when, uh, uh, when it hardens it. And well, even after the fact with the wet rag, hot wet rag, I could get it out later. But if I were using tight bond or something on this, I'd have to get in there and try to scrape it off with some sort of tool and it's not easy to get my big old fat arm in this hole and then actually get my wrist turned in it right. It looks easy enough on top, but when you get down through that hole, it, it completely limits your range of motion. So anyway, all right, uh, so that's that's it for this little bit of a, a peek at this thing. Uh, hey guys, thanks for watching, appreciate it. Um, I'm adding subs uh, almost daily and uh, thank you for that and take care.